Hello, my name is Yen. I'm here with Jessica today, and uh, we're taking a look at Remote Desktop Manager and something that's very uh, interesting to use and very intriguing about it, something called repositories. Now, what are they? We'll talk about that in a little second, but the reason why we want to talk about repositories is some of you, your uh, database and your, your, your Remote Desktop Manager looks a little bit like mine. Okay, let me show you mine. I'm gonna look at my screen. It's messy, and, Ann. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, I should have confessed. I didn't clean up too much. But so obviously here you notice on the uh, navigation pane on the left-hand side, if you look at that, um, everything in just one gigantic folder in my root. Uh, I've got items, I got folders, so I tried to organize it a little bit, but to be honest, finding information um, sometimes can be a little bit of a challenge. Is there a better way for us to do this. So that's the big question, Jessica. So yeah. what do you think we should do? Yeah, so we see here the Yan. Yan's is a little messy. He's divided it by folders. So we have Downhill Pro and Telemark are customers. Yeah. And then what's in Windjammer is internal for his company. Okay, um, and now I'm gonna show you how I recommend to change it with repositories. Instead of having all of those folders at the root, we have repositories. Downhill Pro and Telemark are now different repositories. So if we look, here's Downhill Pro, it's a customer, and everything's in this repository. Oh, wow, that's so much nicer, it's by customer, yeah. I love it, yeah. And then for the internal, let's say your IT department has a, its own repository for the department, and here we have the credentials, the domain tools, the in-house or internal tools as well, so everything's organized like that and then we can navigate between the different repositories up here. So, all right, I'm interested already. You, you got yeah. me sold. How do we, um, uh, before we show them more, how do we even add a repository? Like, where do they go to do this? Yeah, repositories is right here on the, ad, on the administration tab. And so to add a new repository, we just click here and then name it. Let's just name one for this one, new repository. Okay. And you can make a description if you want it's optional for the demo oh fork for the demo um, yeah. and press okay I don't know if you've seen this already yeah. look at the difference just visually if you want to go back in the video you can take a look at that yeah but so uh, obviously the management and the visuals is a lot easier mm -hmm. the eyes and it seems more organized I guess and that's yeah. a good thing we always need more organization in our yeah life, right? so, uh, <laughs> All right, so we, we, that's how we add them. What about, before we get into the, the nitty gritty, how, what are repositories in the first place? Like, is it a folder, is it, what, what I'm exactly? I'm glad you asked. Yeah. So we can think of it as a container that organizes entries um, into separate vaults in our data source. So you could think of your data source maybe as a set of drawers and then each repository is a, is a drawer, it's a separate oh, yeah. vault. That, that makes sense. So it's a, yeah. be, it's a best practice that we use ourselves at Devolutions and that we recommend to all of our customers. Sure, I, I obviously didn't get the memo because I didn't sign my <laughs> repository up, but no, I, that looks yeah. like it's definitely much more efficient. So Yeah, and we uh, recommend, sorry, just to yeah, yeah, interrupt, yeah. we recommend that you either organize your repositories by customer okay. or by department, depending on how you're using RDM. Okay, sure. So it could be both or either, yep. either or, I guess it exactly. works. So, uh, exactly. Let's look at the actual repositories you have. So you want to talk a little bit more about sure. things, security and things like that in there. So let's uh, switch over to your screen yep. really quick and we'll take a look at that. So this is a repository called Downhill Pro, which is for a customer. And we see that um, we have our credentials in here as well as the servers that we need to access nice. um, as well as some tools as well. And then if we went into Telemark, which is another customer, we see it has a similar setup, credentials. Then there's two offices that are used with different uh, sessions that we need for them and different tools as well. And then for one that's in the IT department, you see this is internal, so it's a department within the company. Sure. Same sort of thing, we have credentials and then different types of entries divided by folder. Nice. Oh, that's great. No, I, I like that. What, what makes repositories so useful besides that fact? What you can do is you can simplify your management by assigning different Active Directory groups to specific repositories. Okay. Um, we call Active Directory groups in RDM roles. Okay. So Perfect. I'll just show you what that looks like. Okay, let's take a look. We'll take a Downhill Pro as our example. And here in User Security Management, 
you, it says assign roles. Okay, nice. So here we can see who is a member and who is an administrator of the um, of the repository. Oh, that's nice. All those yeah. features so you can so get access right exactly. off the bat. Exactly. So here only administrators are, right? Sure. Um, and then I'll show you a different one. We'll go to Telemark. Um, that's another one of our customers. Yeah. Exactly. And you see here the help desk and the service desk are also members of the repository and the RDM admins, which is our Active Directory group or role, um, is the administrator. Oh, that's great. So in this case, we're setting the security on the repositories so we don't have to worry about the lower level folders. Sure. So, so that's, uh, that's that right off the bat, it's nice. You can, you can limit repositories to specific users exactly. right off the bat. Yeah. So customers and internal, very easy to manage. That's one yeah. click away. Exactly. Um, now, do you have an example of, let's say we have a user that doesn't see their repositories. What, what does it exactly. look like for them? Sure, let me show you that. So, so far I've been showing you in admin view and we had all of these different repositories, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so this is a person who, has, who works at the service desk at Windjammer and they have access to only three repositories. Oh, nice, yeah. That, so that's nice. So it's very granular. It goes with our security exactly. that we, we put in everything. Yeah. But so not only are repositories able to have different security levels to what they can see, but then uh, as always within RDM, you can set up uh, to your heart's content the permissions for individual folders and entries themselves. Is there anything else that uh, we need to see that, that's, that's a good... Uh, feature that we that's part of repositories sure. or something that we can use a tool in there. Absolutely. So if I go back, I'm in my admin view again. This is um, the main repository okay. and we have something called repository shortcuts. Oh, okay, nice. Okay. So you see this little icon, this blue icon beside Downhill Pro? Yep. This is actually a shortcut to the repository. Okay. So if I click on it, I change repositories, oh, if you can see it up so here. Oh, nice. It just jumped right into and it. Exactly. And then we can go back to the main one Oh, that makes it here. easier for users, so they don't have to worry about exactly. like, selecting repositories. They, they have access to, to go to which ones they want. Exactly. And so that means that we can actually um, remove some of these drop-down lists at the top here. And you can oh, do that okay. in file options. Making things even more simple for the user. Exactly. Okay, perfect. Um, I'll show you one last thing. is just how to make a, the shortcut. Oh, yeah, Does that sound great. good? Yeah, let's look at that. Yeah. Um, so to make the repository shortcut, we go to new entry, session, other, and then repository shortcut. You could always search for it up here as well if you okay, wanted yeah, to. Yep. So here, what, this is our repository shortcut. Okay. We just need to give it a name, so I'm going to call it new repository because I made one just before in our demo. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put it in the customers. Okay. And then here we need to add, this is the folder, I'm putting it in customers. Then we just need to add the repository ID. Okay, if I sure. click on the, click the ellipsis okay. and look for new repository that I made before. It's right there, yeah. Exactly, and click nice. OK. Click OK. And there we see it. That's our shortcut right there. Oh man, and we, that makes it so easy, yeah. Yeah, and there we, I don't have anything there yet because I okay. just made it, but no, yeah. No, that makes it, that, but that was easy though. Yeah. Excellent, okay. Is there any downsides or anything we should be aware of before we start going into the whole repository? Absolutely. Process? So if you just go back to my screen for a second, okay. you'll see here, um, if you're gonna use repositories and shortcuts, you can't put any entries on the root, okay? All of the entries need to be, um, put into, into different repositories, so we don't add anything to the root. Okay, so everything has to be like in a folder? Exactly. Okay, good. So we don't want any like the stray entries just sitting there. Exactly. Like, okay, but so most of our good. community already does that. Yeah, they're following um, our best practices. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, okay, now lastly, mm -hmm. um, is there any uh, performance advantages, disadvantages to using repositories? Absolutely. So when you start using repositories, you will cut down on the amount of entries in one place. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, so that will help performance. Sure. Because you'll you just won't have like you know three thousand entries in one place. They'll all be divided. So we know some of you guys have uh, three thousand plus uh, entries in there, and uh, things can start to slow down just by the nature of having so many entries. Um, but having repositories can definitely be a a, a, a magic tool that helps yep. solve that problem. So we have improved security, which is always great. Uh, and then also the look and the feel, you won't end up with the, the kind of the mess that I ended up with. 
And then lastly, also, I think performance is a great uh, benefit of having repositories exactly. broken down with all your information. I think everybody's happy with rep repositories as well when they're using them. So is that basically everything you wanted to say? That's start all with? I wanted to say. Thanks very much. That's great. Thank you so much, Jess. And repositories, hope you guys use them. And uh, hope if you need any help, you're more than welcome to visit our website, uh, look around in our forums and our help files, and we have a lot more information about repositories there. All right, so until next time, we'll see you guys. Thanks.